Have you ever been to the beach and you come out of the water and even though it's 95 degrees outside, you just get a chill? Well, think about it. The water stays on your skin. It doesn't go into your skin. And then you automatically run. You're like, mom, dad, please, quick, get me a towel. And you get the towel. What do you do with the towel? You wrap it around your body. And what does the towel do? It sucks up the water. And that's what we call absorb or absorbency. Absorbency is the ability for something to soak things up or suck things up. But now, think about this. I'm gonna show you how magical absorbency could really be. And all I need is water and towels and some food coloring. So you know what I'm gonna do? We're gonna add, ready? Three drops of blue. One, two, three. Three drops of red. One, you know what, I'm gonna do five. Three, four, five. I'm gonna put five drops of green. One, two, three, four, five. And then I'm gonna put five drops of yellow. One, two, three, four, five. And then we can mix primary colors to make secondary colors. So you know what? What do you guys think? Purple? Purple. What do we need? Red and blue, I think, right? Let's try it. We'll do two, three reds. We'll do two blues. And now I'm gonna take my water, my liquid, that's gonna be absorbed by my towels, but it's actually gonna be absorbing water that's been colored. And you guys, are not gonna believe what's gonna happen to your towel. And the cooler part is, you're not gonna believe what's gonna appear on your towels. Now, I need you to take a paper towel. And you're gonna notice your paper towel generally is a square shape. Now you're not just gonna throw it into the water because that's not the fun part. I want you to take your paper towel and maybe fold it. And maybe fold it again. And maybe triangle and stop. Three corners, right? One, two, three. Now I'm going to take my towel and choose a color, maybe green. I'm going to take the towel, I'm going to dip the tip into the water, just like this, and all of a sudden the water gets absorbed by the towel. It sucks up the green water, sucks up the green water, and you can see I never put this part into the water, but yet it's green. This is the ability for the paper towel to suck up the water, to absorb the water. But now I'm gonna take my finger and I'm gonna squeeze out the extra water because I'm telling you what you're gonna be left with is amazing. Use your fingers like a squeegee board. Squeeze, 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 and stop. Now I'm gonna take second corner. Pick maybe red. Let's move this out of the way so you can see. And dip it in. And what's it doing? It's absorbing. It's absorbing the red water now and it's sucking up and it's sucking up and it's going up and it's going up higher and higher and higher. Take your fingers out and squeeze the water out. Because you don't want red water all over your mom's house or your dad's house. Just squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze it. And if you're Italian, you'll like that right now, right? But now what if I took blue and again fold it, dip it in. And now it's going to absorb the blue water. And before you know it, the whole towel now will be wet and colored. Squeeze it out, squeeze it out. Now some of you right now are saying, okay, fine, he's making a colored paper towel, but really? Watch this. If you ever heard of tie-dye, you're gonna love this. Start opening up your towel, and be careful when you do this because you don't want to rip the towel. You're gonna notice really amazing patterns are taking place. Really amazing designs are taking place. And when you're done, you're left with that. And the cool part about this experiment is, every time that towel is folded differently, you're gonna be left with an amazing different design. You could let these dry, and then the next time mommy and daddy, oh my gosh, we had a spill, go get me a towel. Give them something like this, and their eyes will literally pop out of the head, boing. How'd you do that? 